Hey you guys, Brown Eye KK back with another video. Just wanted to do a book review and a small book haul for the books that I purchased in the month of February. So to start off the video, I want to do a review on Small Island by Andrea Levy. Description will be below in the description box as always. I want to thank Bizzle RT for recommending this book to me. I actually really enjoyed it. So let's just hop into the review. Small Island is a novel that takes place during the year of 1948 in London, England. There are two couples and these four characters basically tell the story. So we have Queenie and Bernard who are from England and Hortense and Gilbert who are from the island of Jamaica. So the beginning of the book starts with Queenie and she's basically telling the story of her first encounter with a person of African descent. So from the beginning, you already know that this book is kind of going to talk about race relations and the relationship between two very distinct cultures. Like I said before, Hortense and Gilbert are from the island of Jamaica. Hortense's character is kind of privileged and prim and proper. She's an educated young woman and she kind of feels entitled. Her father is someone of um, big stature or great stature on the island of Jamaica and though he kind of has nothing to do with her, she draws from that influence of who he is and puts herself above everyone and it basically forms the person that she is in 1948 when we pick up the um, novel where the four characters meet with each other. So I really liked Hortense's character there are some plots and some twists that go along with her story and Gilbert's story. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep going with the characters. So Gilbert is a dreamer. I just want to describe him as a dreamer. He basically has served his time in the RAF for the war and has returned back to Jamaica and is just itching to get to London, England, in order to better his life and just He's been away for so long that when he gets back to Jamaica, he kind of just feels like a big fish in a small pond. And so he's just ready to get back to England and start his life. And the marriage between Hortense and Gilbert kind of comes out of the necessity of um, Gilbert's trying to get back to England and Hortense just trying to get a damn life. So <laughs> um, there are some supporting characters that go along with their story and kind of shape um, the ending of the novel, one of which being Michael, who is Hortense's cousin and kind of like her first crush or first love, which is a little odd, but you know, it happens. Um, so yeah, supporting characters were also very important. Queenie's father-in-law is also a supporting character and he has a huge impact on the way that she relates to the ja the Jamaican borders that she has taken into her home. Bernard, her husband, has been sent off to war. And for most of the story, Bernard isn't present. His voice doesn't come into play until later on. But we know about him through Queenie's story. So she's married Bernard also out of convenience. She did not want to return to her home to live with her mother and father after the aunt that she was living with had passed away. And so she basically just marries Bernard out of convenience. Queenie's character is a very strong woman. She's kind of sad um, and a little lost. That's just what I got from her character. So in the midst of her being very strong, she's just kind of a really sad individual. She's not quite sure why her life has turned out the way it's turned out and she doesn't really know where to go at all. Her husband Bernard is a big wimp basically and although he's um signed up to go to war in the hopes that maybe he will become the man that I guess he thinks Queenie wants him to be. He's just really very wimpy and um yeah really really very wimpy and he comes back when he does enter back into the story very angry and very <sighs> hostile towards Gilbert and Hortense who have taken up residence in his home. So there are plenty of um, interesting things that happen in this novel. There are illicit affairs and killings and 
race relations and riots. So <laughs> there's a lot going on in here. I loved the fact that each character had a very distinct voice. So while the story switches between characters, it also switches between time periods of before and after. And that after being 1948, yeah, 1948. So we get a really rich um, history for each of the characters. Great character development in this story. So I loved that about it. And the more I talk about it to you guys, I'm upping my rating on this one. So I'm going to give Small Island by Andrea Levy four out of five stars. I really enjoyed this read. I love the character development. I felt like I knew um, each of them and I could sympathize with their stories and understand the way that they view things based upon their circumstances and the upbringing that each of them had, their personal history. So yeah, four out of five stars for Andrea Levy's Small Island. So that was the first part of this video. Now we're gonna move into a very small um, book haul that I did for the month of February. So here are the books that I purchased during the month of February. Let's start with To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This is a classic. I just love the illustration on this small um, paperback. So I just wanted to purchase it to add it to the collection. I love that. Isn't that cute? So To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The next book that I purchased was the Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. I've been hearing a lot about this book. I won't do a review on it, but I did want to pick it up and um, find out what all the hoopla was about. So The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. The next book is part of my guilty pleasure reads. Um, I think I've said this before. I love Gregory Maguire and the way that he writes. And so I picked up What the Dickens by Gregory, Gregory Maguire. Um, this is the story of a rogue tooth fairy. I know I'm an adult, but I just love, I love him. So yeah, picked up What the Dickens by Gregory Maguire. And the last book that I purchased for the month of February is the book that I'm reading right now, and it is The Devil All the Time by Donald Ray Pollock. I am expecting great things from this book. I am just inches, like not even inch into it, and I'm already, uh, yeah. So I'll definitely be doing a review on this one and those are all of the books that I purchased for the month of February. Thank you guys so much for commenting on my videos, for watching my videos and for subscribing to the channel. I'm really, really, really need to start a regular recording schedule but you know reading takes time sometimes and you don't have time to do it all the time. So. Yeah, I will be coming back with a review for Devil All the Time. And until then, I hope you guys enjoy your week. And hopefully, I'll see you before the month of March is out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.